Hey, what's happening? This is TomNerdRemix.com. I got a movie before you take called Gallery of Fear. I've been waiting to see this for a while. It's an anthology horror film, which happens to be kind of the rage lately. But uh, this one really works. There's some crappy examples out of it out there. Um, this one actually works really well, and uh, it has a wraparound segment and it, as well as like three short films that you know can be self-contained shorts within themselves. In fact, one of them was and uh, won a lot of awards. By her hand, she draws you down. Now. Uh, all of these were uh, written and directed by uh, Alan Roe Kelly, who has a uh, you know quite a few directing credits as well as quite a few acting credits under his belt, and uh, Anthony G. Sumner, you know of, of Three Slices of Life fame. So you, you know it's in capable hands here. The wraparound segment reminds me of the old Night Gallery TV show. Yes, I'm old enough to remember that. And reruns, syndication, not an initial run. I'm not that old, but anyway. It uh, concerns an art critic named Roberta Van Houten, who is played by Debbie Rashawn. And what can I say about Debbie? The full lips, the eyes, the devil may care attitude, the sexiness. Yeah, I won't say no more. And uh, she's uh, visiting a gallery, the Lunatic Gallery, out in the sticks. And uh, David Rancic is a driver. Um, doesn't really say anything. <laughs> but anyway, she gets uh, stranded by this driver and finally finds this gallery and comes across different pictures and different items from the three short films that are contained therein. And, uh, you know, like I said, what can I say about Debbie? She's fantastic. She's always fantastic. And uh, the first segment, By Your Hand, She Draws You Down. I, as you remember, I uh, reviewed this last year and uh, won a lot of awards at a lot of different festivals for uh, Anthony Sumner and the... Uh, the cast. This was like my first experience with Anthony G. Sumner, and I thought everything I saw from him was going to be a, a subdued, mature, moody, dark film like this, and boy was I wrong. But his other stuff is just as good. It's just definitely not in the same vein as this. But anyway, I can't say enough about the, the two great leads, and it's Jerry Murdoch and Zoe Dalmaclanda. They both do fantastic. It's a fantastic film. It's very masterful directed. And if there's one thing about seeing Anthony's other work and this, is this guy can pull performances out of people. And this is uh, some really good stuff. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it because, like I said, I've reviewed it before. In fact, it made my best stuff 2010 list on a few subjects. So uh, definitely uh, worth the price of admission right out of the gate with Buyer Hand She Draws You Down. The second story on this, Down to Drain, again, Jerry Murdoch, as a nebishly uh, nerdy high school teacher, <laughs> named uh, Stanley Moffat. Now, Stanley's got a lot of problems. He's put upon by everybody, especially his students and uh, his ex-wife, Sylvia. And you know right away, even though she's kind of hella fucked up looking, but you see the bright blue eyes, it's rain brown. Yes, absolutely. You can't, uh, you can't miss those. And uh, it seems... Uh, Stanley's having a little problems, and you know, he's being put upon and picked on, and finally the worm turns for Stanley, and it has something to do with the pipes, that's all I'm going to say. Very cool special effects, and it's very gory, and Jerry Murdoch, again, showing some range here, I mean, he goes from the serious role in By Your Hand to the goofy, nerdy teacher in this with a really weird mustache, and he's sweaty, and he's spazzy, and he's fantastic in this, so definitely, uh, you know, down the drain, another good segment, lots of cool set piece, lots of cool gore effects, and uh, very cool uh, little thing. Which segues way into the third piece, A Far Cry From Home. Now this is messed up. Um, Alan Roe Kelly plays Elaine, one half of a, uh, a gay couple, who uh, take a wrong turn. They're having a little trouble in their relationship. They take a wrong turn on their way to a cabin, and they end up at a strange store in the sticks. And there, they run afoul of the most twisted bunch of hillbilly fucks this side of the Westboro Baptist Church. We got some really bigoted weirdos here. Mainly, Benzi plays Otis and Murdoch again as Buster. And in this one, Murdoch plays a bigoted hillbilly psycho fuck, and he does it again. This should be like his acting reel, this film, Gallery of Fear, should be his acting reel. Because he goes from serious to, you know, nerdy to over-the-top psycho, and he does it flawlessly. Uh, Terry West as a preacher is always is really good in this, really creepy. This whole segment with the, the, uh, the, set, the chases and the hiding and the suspense and the gore, and it kind of reminds me of Calvera, the, the Odeal. Uh, crossed with frontiers, and uh, if you know if you can wrap your mind around that, and uh, some scathing social commentary in this, uh, 
really skewers the religious right, which, you know, right on for that. I enjoyed that. And, uh, really makes a statement, you know, Debbie Rashone at the end of it, screaming, this is not art. And, uh, I hate to tell you, it is. Everything in this is shot beautifully by Bart Mastronardi and Dominic Civilli. Uh, Anthony Sumner does a little bit, but these two guys are fantastic. Uh, hire them you can still afford them. This is two Italian guys with more talent behind the camera than the entire cast of Jersey Shore in front of the camera, okay? So uh, definitely check out their work. They do fantastic in this. Very cool shots. And in A Far Cry From Home, there's some very cool gore shots, some really cool sickness, and Alan Roe Kelly is just fantastic in this. So definitely check that one out, too. And uh, the whole package is Gallery of Fear. What can you say about it? I mean, it's got Debbie Rashone, it's got Zoe Dalmanclanda, it's got Jerry fucking Murdoch, and it's got Alan Roe Kelly, all giving great performances. Great writing, great directing, great cinematography. I can't say enough about this. Damn it, when it comes out, check it out. I'm Tom, nerdremix.com, Gallery of Fear, 9.5 out of 10.